Hey guys! Oh, you hear that? Oh, that's that's the new sound quality of my blue snowball ice microphone. Oh, actually, I can't hear it right now, so I have a better sound better than my standard phone thing. But we'll we'll see. I know this is a little late, but a trailer for Fallout 4 went up the other day, and the internet was just like, well, new game announcements are always very exciting. People, I think, should calm down just a little. People are like, oh my God, Half Life 3 and the Last Guardian are next. I was like, all right. No. Last Guardian, Sony claims, is still in development, but it's clear they just don't know what they want to do with it yet, or maybe they're waiting for VR. Half-Life 3 Valve is just like, yeah. Uh -huh. It's like, Fallout 4 was always coming. I don't know why everyone is like, this is the second messiah, this is the game that... Half-Life 3 would be a much bigger deal than Fallout 4. But all that aside, let's talk about the trailer for Fallout 4. I think I said this in the other video, I played Fallout 3 for a few minutes. It was, it was after I'd played Skyrim, and I'm like, this game is... 2007, I just, I can't handle this. It was basically an older, crappier version of Skyrim with guns, and I didn't get around to New Vegas. So Fallout is by Bethesda, it's the same people who made Skyrim, except it's post-apocalyptic. Like, nukes went off, people went underground, and they came back out. That's pretty much all you need to know. Now, this trailer, it starts out the same way the Fallout 3 trailer did, and I really like that. It's zooming out of a picture, in Fallout 3 it was like the dancing Hawaiian girl statue, and they're playing this like, old 50s song. But the cry. And it's like switching back and forth between present time and back in the day, but back in the day wasn't like the 50s, because there's this robot thing, so it was the future. Fallout 3 takes place in 2033, that might be Metro, I might be being confused. And then it shows the dog, and I'm like, oh, Call of Duty Ghosts. I'm like, dogs are always great, but do you really want to be associated with Call of Duty Ghosts? And it shows this open world, and it's all desert, and it shows all these like city spaces and areas. And it shows the Fallout 3 gear, and I really like the chords of music when it shows that, and it's all like... Let's go, pal. And this character, who he assume is the protagonist, we don't know for sure, he might be a side character, he says like, let's go, pal, and that... Like, right away, I'm calling it. That's Troy Baker. That that sounds exactly like Troy Baker. Let's go, pal. My god, that man will get work till the end of time. This trailer is good and bad for two reasons. One, it's not a CGI trailer. It appears to be like an in-game engine, but not like a fake in-game engine, like cheating, like Battle for Star Wars. But like, gameplay footage just out of the gameplay camera. Sort of. Like, you never see a gun in the corner of the screen, but it's, it's, it seems like that's what the graphics will be in the game. I like CGI trailers. Uh, granted, they don't tell you about the graphics of the game at all, but I just, I love them. I think they're great. They can get people really excited for the game. Look at The Witcher 3. The, um, the one with the girl, and she's like, things like me. It's like, that picture quality is so good. That trailer is awesome. Too bad the game didn't quite live up to it. We'll talk about that later. Different video. But looking at the dog, it's like... That does not look like a real dog. It's like, graphics are very unimpressive to me. If this is what the game actually looks like, hey, at least they didn't try to make it better than it was in the first place. But again, it's it's a next-gen game, and if that's what it looks like on PC, that's not great. It's 2015. If the game comes out in 2015, it might be 2016. We'll find out at E3. And if you ask me, they should have saved the trailer for E3, and I really got mad about that again. I'm like... Like, really, what is even the point of E3 anymore? Like, that, do that dog's animation is, like, kind of slow. Like, it doesn't look like a real dog running. And then the fur is, like, really crabby looking. All this trailer told us is that there's a new Fallout game. It showed some of the areas and stuff. It didn't show any combat. It showed a couple new enemies, but it's a hype trailer. If you have a trailer that's built purely for hype, you might as well just make it CGI, because those are so much better. But Bethesda just wants to show gameplay footage. I get it. All right, I'd say it's, it's a pretty good trailer. Like I said... I'm not nearly as excited as anyone else. I will definitely get Fallout 4 and review it. Don't worry about that. It's no Elder Scrolls 6. I'm sorry. It just isn't. So how excited are you for the Fallout trailer? Do the graphics bother you? Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you'd like to come back and join Wesley Tomsky in his crusade against everything evil. Because with God on our side, we shall prevail.